Welcome back. In this lesson, we are going to be making a extrude cube. That's what I call it. And it's essentially going to teach you all the different types of extruding tools inside of Blender. And I am actually in Blender 2.9 Alpha, so I have some extra tools that you may not see for a little while. But uh, let's go ahead and dive in to the extrude region. So to do that, just go ahead and do File, New, or just go ahead and open up your Blender and create a new project. We can just do General right here. And first off, let's just do File, Save As, and we can call it Extrude Region. And for this lesson, we don't need Suzanne, so everybody say bye Suzanne, and just click on her, hit X to delete her, and we're going to create a new cube. So we'll do Shift A, Mesh, and Cube. And it's really, really tiny, so you should have a little drop down right here. And let's just crank that on up to maybe 20 millimeters. And there we go. So now we've got a 20 millimeter cube right here. And we can just rename that cube Extrude Cube. And now let's take it on into edit mode. And the normal way that I usually extrude things is just by clicking on any one of the faces or the points or the lines, but usually it's faces. And I'll just click on a face and then hit E on the keyboard to extrude. And notice that just, you know, extrudes things in. I can also scale it down, hit extrude and bring it on in. But I'm gonna show you the official way to do that uh, with the tools over here. So now we've got this cube, I also want you to make sure you've got in your drop down right here in the top right corner, you want to make sure you have cavity turned on and your ridge and valleys are set to one um, and your shadow. So just make sure you have cavity and shadow checked and that's gonna help when we go to do some uh, modeling here later today. It really just helps so you can kind of see these little gleams and edges um, on the corners of your object. And another trick that I've been doing lately is to add a bevel modifier to your design. And maybe we'll set the, you can kind of see it starting right here. Um, but let's crank it up to maybe 0.5 millimeters and do an, uh, segments at three. And there we've got a nice rounded edge because nothing in real life is perfectly sharp. So that's just gonna add some little um, nice curvatures to most of your designs. And not only that, when we are extruding over the next few lessons, if you ever see this bevel disappear, that is gonna give you a hint that you have just broken your model and it's not manifold. So I also use it as a um, training tool so you can kind of get used to what breaks your model uh, while you're designing. So just keep an eye. You always want to make sure you have these nice curvy edges when you're modeling. So for these next few lessons, I want you to keep an eye on your bevels. So let's go ahead and just jump on into it. So let's take this cube here into edit mode by hitting tab. Let's hit one on your numpad. And now we're in front orthographic and grab that frame. That way we're all on the same page here. So I've got my front facing uh, face here. And what I want you to do is make sure you still have that face selected. Go down to your extrude tools down here. Yours will probably look like this. And we're gonna go over all five of these over the next few videos. Uh, but first we're gonna start off with extrude region. And notice I have this new one called extrude manifold. Um, it could be called extrude intersect um, and maybe something like that if you're using a later version of Blender. But I am in Blender 2.9 Alpha, so I'm kind of in the future of Blender. Um, but just make sure you have it on Extrude Region. And we're gonna do something pretty simple today. Um, notice that since we have the tool selected, we've got this yellow plus sign thingy uh, that has appeared. And so all you have to do is just click on that bad boy and click and drag. And looky there, we've got a new extrusion. And you can maybe click it one more time. We're just gonna do three, so one, two, and then one more, and that makes three. And that's, you know, all we really have to do there. So that's just, you know, simple extrusion. And one thing that I see a lot of beginners do is sometimes they'll accidentally click it 
and kind of make a new extrusion right on top of each itself. So I'll do it real quick. So watch watch this bevel edge as I do this mistake here. So I'm gonna just click it and then barely move it. And notice the bevel is like almost gone. Like it almost looks like a very st stiff straight cube. And that's because if I zoom in here, you can see this, this uh, little extrude, I just barely did it. Sometimes it'll be even smaller than that where it'll be right on top of itself. So be very careful uh, that you don't do that. If you do, you can always just hit Control Z and get it back. Um, or another way, you could just barely pop it and then hit S and scale it in, which is kind of like the inset tool, but we'll get to that in a later video. Essentially, you've made a tiny, tiny, tiny extrude and then scaled it down. So now you can even extrude inward. So that's another uh, pretty cool feature. So really extruding just lets you pull out geometry, making new geometry, or lets you push in creating new geometry, but um, kind of invertedly. So that's all we're doing for this lesson. Uh, we're gonna get pretty crazy with this cube. So that is all for the extrude region. Let me know if you have any questions up in the top right with the discussions panel. And let's keep on moving on.